happened. Um, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Scheel. I am chairman of the Department of Biology. Um, you know, normally this is something, this, uh, this sort of ceremony that we have in acknowledging our graduating seniors and our graduate students and our award-winning students. Um, this is done during a picnic, during reading day and a kickball tournament. Um, we can't do that this year, but you know, I'm actually kind of excited about this format because I think in the future we should do something like this so that everybody who can't attend um, can actually share in this. Uh, so welcome everyone. We're excited uh, to recognize all of our graduating seniors and our graduating graduate students, both MA and MS students. Um, this is, it, it's, it's a big deal for students. It's also a big deal for faculty. We work hard with all of the students. We see all of the hard work that you do. We want to be able to recognize that um, within our department for all of our majors and our graduate students. And we're really excited to see students, you know, getting across the finish line. This is a, a really big deal. And we're excited about uh, the hard work that you've done and the fact that you're finishing, <coughs> excuse me, finishing up uh, with your um, degrees. What I'm gonna do here, let me screen share quickly and we'll get this presentation going. Right, oops. Okay, so uh, this is the 2020 celebration of our graduating seniors for the Department of Biology and for our graduate students. This will include students who finished uh, in, in uh, fall of 19, so they, they had a December graduation date, uh, through those students who will be finishing um, this summer at, in, in August. So it's a, a good group of students here. Um, uh oh, why? There we go. Uh, we'll start out. Uh, by acknowledging two of our faculty in the department. Dr. Rebecca Jernowski, she received the Distinguished Faculty Award. This is one of the highest awards we have on campus. It's uh, uh, a committee of uh, peers select somebody who's made uh, significant contributions amongst the faculty in a variety of different ways. And then also Dr. James Watling uh, is acknowledged for uh, his excellence in research and his contributions in his field by receiving a, a Fulbright Specialist Award. And you know, both of these are really big deals. So congratulations um, to the two of you. Um, we're all scientists, we love data, right? So I, I figured I should put a science slide in here, right? Just a summary of some things. Um, we have, uh, you know, six Master of Science students, four Master of Arts students, four students in environmental science and 13, actually that should be 14 in cell and molecular biology and at least 62 students uh, receiving their Bachelor of Science in biology for at least a total of 90 students finishing this year. This is an impressive number and uh, we're really excited um, to see that. Uh, we will start out with the graduate students. I'll, I'll list those and we'll mention a few awards and then we'll be doing the same thing with our undergraduates. So uh, for the Master of Science, we, we acknowledge um, and congratulate these six students, Olivia Brooks, Osmari Angelis Medina Baez, Adam Ruka, Jessica Ryan, Courtney Thomas, and Andrew Faselka. Con congratulations to all of you for receiving your Master of uh, Science in Biology. We'll, well, we just actually, we'll do it. So as we go through these, as we do the different categories, let's congratulate them, so congrats. Right. Uh, Master of Arts in Biology, we have Noemi Bexa, uh, Hannah Merwin, Maria Anucci, and Sarah Wisniewski. So congratulations to these Master of Arts students. Um, every year we acknowledge uh, graduate student contributions to our education here. These are, we, we have uh, a number of our graduate students who contribute in the classrooms to help with teaching, they help with grading, they assist students in learning the material. Uh, they do a lot of the heavy lifting for us in the department when it comes to some aspects of teaching. And this year we had uh, three graduate student uh, teaching award winners. Um, and so what we'll do as we go through the awards, both for the graduate students and the undergraduates, we'll have different faculty member read some statement about each of these. So uh, for Olivia Brooks, we'll kick this off um, with Dr. S Dr. Saperito. Thank you. Um, Olivia received the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award for her two years of dedication and excellence in teaching human anatomy and physiology lab at John Carroll. Olivia always treated teaching as a learning experience and continually worked hard to master the course material before teaching. She constantly went above and beyond to ensure the labs were prepared and organized 
and was always patient and willing to work with students until they understood the material. She often sought feedback about her teaching and continually strived to improve. Olivia also took pride in the knowledge she gained, which allowed her to develop into a more comfortable and confident teacher over time. Congratulations, Olivia. Yay. All right, Adam Ruka, uh, Dr. Johansson. Well, Adam distinguished himself as a teaching assistant in Principles of Biology three labs, uh, providing original input for improvement of these labs and interaction with uh, both the graduate students, uh, <laughs> the instructor, and the uh, undergraduates. He also contributed uh, to Aquatic Resources Lab at Algae's Bioindicators Lab, working reliably, independently, and creatively in these labs, uh, providing teaching support to the instructor. Uh, in all of his teaching assistant duties, he was mature, reliable, helpful, respectful, and independent. Congratulations, Adam. Great. All right, next we have uh, Jessica Ryan and Dr. Anthony Ruiz. Thanks, Chris. While pursuing a Master of Science uh, degree at JCU, Jessica provided support as a graduate assistant in the Laboratories for Principles of Biology 1, 2, <coughs> She proved to be a well-liked, reliable, capable, and knowledgeable assistant. Currently, Jessica is finishing up writing her thesis on aggressive behavior and territoriality in genetically distinct groups of Eastern redback salamanders. Jessica will be continuing her work with herptiles, that's reptiles and amphibians, uh, at the San Diego, uh, San Diego Natural History Museum, where she'll be working on flat-tailed horned lizards. Nice, exciting. Great. Uh, moving on to Outstanding Graduate Student Research Awards, our Master of Science students uh, do research. That's uh, the primary distinction between the Master of Science versus uh, uh, Master of Arts uh, programs. And so this is an award to acknowledge uh, uh, outstanding contributions to research. So for Olivia Brooks, we have Dr. Saparito. Thank you. Um, as a graduate student in biology, Olivia demonstrated excellence in research. She designed and carried out a field and lab-based research project to understand maternal provisioning of chemical defenses in a tropical poison frog. She applied for more than five research grants and hired and managed a volunteer field assistant. She and her assistant spent one month in a Costa Rican rainforest working extremely long hours in challenging conditions that frequently seemed to work counter to the goal of a timely project completion. Following field work, she then spent several months in the lab extracting, isolating, identifying, and quantifying chemicals in hundreds of samples. Somewhere along the line, she also, or somewhere along the way, she also found time to publish a paper, which appeared on the cover of the journal and presented a research paper not related to her thesis at the joint meetings of ichthyologists and herpetologists in Utah. In addition to these achievements, Olivia was also involved in several other research projects with undergraduates in the lab, some of which are being prepared for publication. Olivia exemplified outstanding graduate research at John Carroll and will begin a PhD program at Illinois State in fall 2020, studying tropical frog behavior. Congratulations, Olivia. Thank you. And then for Adam Ruka, uh, we will have Dr. Okay. Johansson. Uh, okay, thank you, Chris. Um, Adam came to John Carroll from uh, the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. Uh, to study algae with uh, Dr. Johansson, me. <laughs> he conducted uh, a study of the planktonic diatom community from 27 different locations, four times a year for two summer seasons in Lake George, uh, a large oligotrophic glacial lake in upstate New York in the Adirondacks. Uh, he was able to detect early signs of cultural eutrophication using diatom composition, uh, and his work will be published in the journal Hydrobiologia. He is now conducting fisheries research in Alaska and uh, hopes to continue doing uh, research uh, as he goes forward. Congratulations, Adam. Great, thank you. Okay, so uh, for this next phase, what I'll do is I'll, I'll read the names of our graduating seniors for each of our three majors within biology. And just to, you know, I'll, I'll read these. It, it, I, I don't want this to seem like I'm just reading a list. So what I want to do is acknowledge that you know, certainly the faculty in our department, we know that for each of these names, there's hard work and dedication and a story behind each of these students. Um, and so uh, we're acknowledging that here by, by me reading your names out. So for a Bachelor of Science degrees in Environmental Science, we have Joseph Lopriori, Madeline McBride, Joseph Murname, and Erica Trong. So congratulations to these students. Um, for Bachelor of Science in Cell and Molecular Biology, we have Jonathan Bastic, 
Mitchell Boschkus, Ryan Cobb, Christian Deddy, Emilia Elmadi, Marissa George, Madison Hughes-Chuck, Rachel Marciano, Madeline Metcalf, John Mana, <laughs> Joseph Rich, Diana Rios Guerrero, Brendan Seaver, and Daniel Wood. Congratulations to all of these cell and molecular biology makers. And then the longer list here, it goes uh, through several slides, is our Bachelor of Science in Biology uh, degree uh, recipients. So we have Ikram Aja, Sally Alcaraguli, uh, Rayan Ariana, Olivia Balcom, Brianna Basel, Andrew Benos, David Berkeley Ramirez, Kaylee Bowersock, Allison Brawler, Ashley Brooks, Caitlin Budzik, uh, Brianna Closta, Cassandra Clark, Alyssa Don. We'll clap on each of these slides for these. We'll have several of these slides coming up. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, more Bachelor of Science in Biology, Krista Cobb, Zachary Coverdale, Matthew, Matthew Crudell, Trevor Cubra, Madeline Delbine, Alexis De Mateus, Nicole DeFranco, Jenna Vorsky, Barakat Endris, Nicole Ferrante, Emily Gerlich, Ashton Gray, Kevin Hauk, Emily James, and Benjamin Kite. Congratulations to, the, to these students. We have uh, Cladio Jenku, Kathleen Jones, Patrick Youngling, Sarah Kadas, Amanda Coucher, Rebecca Kasakowski, Megan Lucell, Philip Masijewski, Allison Marking, Justina Mellick, Joseph McHale, Ryan Mitchell, Lindsay Moulter, and Aaron Moyle. Congratulations to all of you. We have Maria Alice Morema, Joseph Nambia Thusserl, Taylor Newhart, John Palante, Gregory Perella, Lauren Phillip, Dirk Polderman, Erica Quinones, Vinit Reddy, Ali Salty, Ryan Scanlon, Shannon Scherer, Rhea Shanavis, Isabel Simmet, and Sarah Smolarek. Congratulations for all of you. And then we have uh, uh, our final list of uh, Bachelor of Science in Biology for Jeffrey Sommer, Alexander Taylor, Clayton Tyndale, Peter Vitovic, Tasia Vincent, Mara Wallace, Troy Williams, Sabrina Wassner, Nicholas Wojak, uh, Yang Liang Zhao, and William Zydek. Congratulations to all of you biology uh, degree recipients. Very exciting. Thank you for all your hard work, and we're excited to see you get across the finish line. Okay, so for the next phase, what we'll do is we'll move through the, our Excellence in Biology Award recipients. This is an award that's given to students majoring in any area of biology showing excellence by achieving a GPA of at least 3.85 in their biology courses. And so first we have Jonathan Vastic. Uh, I think Dr. Watling will be reading this. Yeah, thanks Chris. Uh, so for Jonathan, in addition to majoring in cell and molecular biology, JC completed a minor in chemistry and an honors thesis. His strong understanding of science and his excellence in lab courses was also recognized by his selection to be the lab preparation assistant for two years for introduction to bio biotechnology lab. JC will be attending medical school at the University of Louisville later this summer. Hey, thank you. Uh, next we have for Madeline Delbine, Dr. Saparito. Thank you. Uh, Madeline achieved academic, academic excellence in biology at John Carroll, making the Dean's List for two years straight and maintaining a GPA of 3.95. <coughs> she also volunteered her time at the Cleveland Clinic, Akron's Children Hospital, Children's Hospital, and other healthcare facilities, was a participant in a campus ministry immersion trip to Chiapas, Mexico, and served as an active member of the Pre-Physician uh, Assistant Club. Madeline is interested in pursuing a career in healthcare and will be applying to physician assistant programs. Congratulations, Madeline. <clears throat> All right, and then for Madison Hughes-Chuck, we have uh, Dr. Watling again. Madison completed a BS in cell and molecular biology and a minor in chemistry while maintaining a 4.0 GPA in biology and a 3.91 GPA <laughs> overall. She was on the Dean's List every semester during her time at JCU. Active in research, the Pre-Dental Society and UH Rainbow Ch Children's Hospital, she'll be heading to dental school at the University of Pittsburgh. <clears throat> Congratulations, Madison. Thank you. Next, uh, continuing with our Excellence in Biology Awards, we have Rachel uh, Marciano being read by uh, Dr. Vandersall. Rachel carried a 3.89 biology GPA and a 3.85 GPA overall 
while completing a BS in the cell and molecular biology major, together with the demanding population and public health minor and a chemistry minor. She was very active in the autism community through research internships and volunteerism at the Cleveland Clinic Center for Autism for over two years. She will continue her studies in the field by entering a master's degree program in applied behavior analysis this fall at either the University of Pittsburgh or the University of Rochester. Congratulations, Rachel. Thank you. For Joseph McHale, Dr. Anthony will read. Joseph has excelled in his biology courses, preparing himself well for his ultimate goal of attending medical school. While at JCU, Joseph developed an interest in reading and discussing the primary scientific literature, participating in the Botany Journal Reading Club during his senior year. Joseph will be working as a medical scribe during his gap year while he applies to medical programs. Congratulations, Joseph. Right. Um, so for Brendan Sieber, Brendan will graduate with a dual major in cell and molecular biology and biochemistry. His outstanding academic performance was just one aspect that led to his acceptance at the Ohio State University College of Medicine. He will officially become a Buckeye in the fall. All right. And then for um, Alexandra Taylor, Dr. Lissamore. Beyond her excellent academic work as a biology major with a minor in chemistry, Alexandra added a minor in population and public health while completing the Rupe Scholars and Honors programs. Her population and public health internship at University Hospital's Rainbow Center for Women and Children focused on assisting patients from poor neighborhoods in Cleveland and connecting them with community resources to enhance their health outcomes. Alexandra will be attending medical school in the fall. Congratulations, Alex. All right, uh, Troy Williams uh, will graduate with a degree in biology and a minor in chemistry. He is one of a few students to maintain a perfect 4-0 throughout all four years at JCU. Uh, he, will he will begin medical school in the fall at Ohio University's Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. Congratulations, Troy. And then to present Daniel Wood, uh, we'll have Dr. Watling. Dan is graduating with a major in cell and molecular biology and a minor in chemistry. In addition to his excellent coursework, he had summer 2018 research internship in the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine at Cleveland Clinic and served for, for several semesters as a chemistry teaching assistant. He'll be attending Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Seton Hill, Pennsylvania starting this summer. Congratulations, Dan. And then moving to our Outstanding Biology Scholar Award. This is an award that's given to students majoring in any area of biology who has shown outstanding research activity. Special consideration is given to undergraduate students who have published or may be listed on publications soon. So for uh, Dr. Or, sorry, Dr. Lissamore, we'll be presenting Jonathan Bastic. During his time at John Carroll, JC carried out two very different research projects, one in basic science and one in biomedical science. His honors thesis project, which was done in my lab, uh, which spanned two full academic years, examined the role of the molecular chaperone system, which regulates protein folding in reproductive stem cells in the model organism C. elegans. During summer 2019, he was a member of the inaugural, inaugural group of students at the National Institutes of Health funded Cancer Cancer Summer Undergraduate Research Program at Case Western Reserve University, where he studied the effects of drug treatments on triple negative breast cancer cells. JC will be attending University of Louisville uh, School of Medicine starting this summer as he continues on his path to becoming a physician. Well done, great job, JC, congratulations. All right, uh, Claudio Jenku uh, is a biology major with a concentration in neuroscience. During his four years at JCU, he has completed three minors, chemistry, population and public health, and professional health care preparations. Cladio is interested in the medical profession and plans to become a neurosurgeon in the future. The Eastern College Science, Science Conference Committee presented him with an excellence award in health sciences for his manuscript that was the culmination of research conducted for his interdisciplinary neuroscience concentration. Congratulations, Cladio. And then to present Patrick Jungling, we have Dr. Martin. Patrick is a biology major who performed research with me for three years. He worked to determine PCR protocols that identify specific alleles of the human ABO blood type gene and, and co-authored a paper this spring. 
Patrick plans on furthering his education by getting a master's of education and eventually teaching in a high school. Very proud of the work you've done, Patrick. Congratulations. Right. Um, then uh, moving on to the next set of Outstanding Biology Scholar Award recipients, we have Madison Hughes Chuck. Uh, and this is presented by Dr. Vanderzon. Madison began doing research at JCU as a sophomore and continued through her senior year, studying the development of the nervous system in fruit flies as a model for how connections in our brains form. Her work contributed toward numerous conf conference presentations and included co-authorship on a peer-reviewed publication. In addition, she conducted research at the Cleveland Clinic Cole Eye Institute, investigating corneal wound healing mechanisms. She's looking forward to transferring her hand skills learned in practicing fruit fly dissections to her future work as a dentist after being accepted to multiple schools. Congratulations, Madison. It was a pleasure to have you in lab. And Dr. Vanderzom will also present Lauren Phillip. Lauren first expressed interest in doing research as a second semester freshman and joined my lab in the subsequent semester, conducted research with me throughout the remainder of her time at John Carroll. Her work focused on how nervous systems get properly wired up, also using fruit flies as a genetic model organism. She was co-author on multiple conference presentations as well as a peer reviewed publication. She will take her very fine motor skills with her to Michigan State University Veterinary School this fall and I'm also very proud of you, Lauren. Congratulations. Dr. Tuminen will present uh, Diana Rios Guerrero. Diana is a cell and molecular biology major with a minor in chemistry and a concentration in neuroscience. Um, after graduation, she's interested in entering the medical field to become a physician assistant. Uh, this spring, Diana has received an award of excellent in excellence in physiology from the Eastern College's Science Conference Committee for her neuroscience research paper on the herbal remedy berberine and its effects on memory. Congratulations. And then Dr. Tumanen will also present Brendan Sieber. In addition to dual majoring, Brendan conducted two years of intensive interdisciplinary research in the departments of chemistry and biology. He was successful in independently synthesizing and purifying a family of small molecules with potential to serve as antiviral drugs. He then used mammalian cell culture to test their efficacy at enhancing in the innate immune response. His efforts laid the groundwork for moving these compounds into infection models. Congratulations as well. Thank you, Dr. Tumner. And moving to the Leadership Award recipients, uh, this is an award that's given to students majoring in any area of biology who has shown outstanding leadership through service to others. This can include service in student government, government student organizations, or off-campus service activities. And to present Sarah al Karaguli, uh, we have Dr. Lissamore. Sally has engaged in an extraordinary range of leadership and service activities for which she also received an Outstanding Student Leader Award in 2019 and a Leadership Legacy Award in 2020, along with a nomination for the Beaudry Award. Her work includes being a peer mentor for academic advising, honors program and Center for Student Diversity and Inclusion, founding a pen pal exchange program connecting JCU students with young people in Iraq, and serving as a medical unit translator for refugees arriving by boat on the Greek island of Lesbos in 2017. Graduating with the rare combination of majors in biology and political science, along with a minor in population and public health, Sally hopes to continue serving others as a physician. So wonderful to have had you with us here at John Carroll. Sally, congratulations. And to present Lauren Phillip, we have Dr. Vanderzon. In addition to excelling as a biology major, Lauren was a leadership development minor. She was very active in campus life, serving as the Vice President for Communications on the Executive Board of Student Government and Vice President for Administration for the College Democrats. In addition, she helped rejuvenate and lead Oz for Paws, an animal welfare group, served in a variety of leadership roles in her sorority, Kappa Delta, and has volunteered for years at One of a Kind, rescue, one of a kind Pet Rescue in Akron, as well as at Fieldstone Farms in Chagrin Falls. As she looks ahead to a career in veterinary medicine, these experiences will certainly serve her well. Thank you for serving John Carroll. 
And to present Brendan Sieber, we have Dr. Alyssa Morgan. You're muted. And for the third and final time today, uh, I think, we have uh, Brendan Sieber once again. In addition to earning the Biology Leadership Award, Brendan is also the recipient of this year's Baudry Award, which honors an individual who exemplifies the ideal of Jesuit education, a man or a woman for others. His numerous leadership activities include two stints as a student leader, leader for the Honduras Medical Immersion, Class of 2020 President in Student Union, Chief Financial Officer for the Labra Ministry for Cleveland's Homeless Community, and a peer mentor for the Choose Ohio First Scholarship Program. Having completed a double major in cell molecular biology and biochemistry, Brendan will be attending the Ohio State University College of Medicine in the fall. Brendan, so happy to have been part of this with you, uh, the Honduras trips, and having had you in course, and just, just having you cross paths regularly. Uh, fantastic job. Really going to miss you when you're uh, down in Columbus. Take care. Great. And then uh, Dr. Kathy Lee, are you still on? Yes, I am here. Would you like to make an announcement? Yes, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate the ability to present the only award that comes from the Pre-Health Professions Department. That is the Father Ahern Award. Uh, Father Ahern is really credited with founding what is now the Pre-Health Professions Program at John Carroll. And each year, one graduating senior is presented with this award. This senior is somebody who typically excels in academics, service to the John Carroll community and beyond, leadership, and preparation for a healthcare career. Uh, the award goes to a man who needs no further introduction, but the future Dr. Brandon Sieber. Congratulations. Thank you so much for all you've done for John Carroll. I can't wait to hear about what you're going to do in the future. And now I feel bad. I should have left this slide up. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> okay. And then, um, thank you very much, Dr. Lee. So then moving to the Fenton D. Moore Award for Outstanding Biology Graduate. Uh, this award is given to a student majoring in any area of biology who has shown outstanding academic performance as reflected in grades, research activity, service, and demonstrated enthusiasm for the discipline. Dr. Moore was a faculty member in the Department of Biology from 1972 uh, until his retirement in 2004, serving as department chair and as director of the, the Health Professions Advisory Committee. He was well known for his concerns for students uh, and for the rigor of his teaching. So for Andrew Benos, uh, during his time at John Carroll University, Andrew has demonstrated academic excellence high research productivity, and an uncommon level of enthusiasm for biology and science. Andrew's interests in science are broad, as indicated by his list of top two favorite classes in his major, which range from global climate change to biochemistry one and two, and his excitement for learning uh, was mentioned by all of his instructors across his classes. Since his sophomore year, Drew worked in a research lab with Dr. James Watling on projects involving geographic information system mapping. And for a 2018 summer undergraduate research fellowship, he worked in Columbia, South America with Dr. Watling to study UVB avoidance behaviors in frogs. Posters of these results were presented at two research meetings. He has also been uh, working at the Cleveland Clinic Cole Eye Institute, where he has contributed to studies of retinopathy of prematurity. For now, he intends to continue working at the Cole Eye Institute, but he will likely apply to medical or graduate school soon. So congratulations uh, to, to Drew Benos. That's all really great, great, really exciting stuff, and congrats again to everybody. Um, I also put together a list of sort of some future destinations. This is just a summary again. We're scientists, so we like these data. Um, as students are crossing the finish line, uh, they reported various areas that they're actually going into. So we can see a great many of our students go into some area of health professions, but also we see that many of our students are going to graduate school and intending to do primary research. It's a, a really robust number of students uh, that are doing that, and that is great. That is contributing to the core of science that moves everything forward. So congratulations uh, you know, uh, for that as well. Um, 
we even have students who are going into service and, and who know they're going into the Peace Corps and some into the armed services and into the Army um, as well. So congratulations for all of you. I, in the next few slides, I've just listed a few of the sort of areas that or, or schools that some students may be going to.